Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have you here today. I am going on to part five of my fall decorate series for 2022 and we're going to decorate right here in the kitchen. Now before I get started, I just want to let you know I don't know how much talking I'm going to be doing. I just had some dental work done this week and I'm still pretty swollen and actually kind of hurting. So I'm going to maybe keep the talking at a minute but I wanted to share this space with you. This is one of my favorite spaces to decorate here in our home. It is the center of our home. We spend a lot of time here. I spend a lot of time here myself just prepping and doing things here in the kitchen so I love to make this space very pretty. If I'm going to spend time in it I definitely want to enjoy looking at it. Now I always keep in mind where I prep my food or where I do certain tasks to kind of keep that area free and clear but for the most part I love to decorate so you are going to see a lot of decor come into this space but I hope that you will come along with me I am just hoping that you can gain a little bit of inspiration for your own home or just come along with me as I decorate my own but let's go ahead and get started on today's video Okay, we are going to begin on this side of the kitchen. I usually start in that corner, but I think I'm going to start in this corner. Now, the two things that I keep in mind while I'm decorating this space is I do use this counter quite a bit as far as setting my food there and using that burner the most. So I try to keep that in mind. Plus, I always try to make sure that my decor is going to be out of a hazard zone. I don't want to have anything burning or anything, but I normally don't use this back burner. So for the most part, we're pretty safe but I do try to keep that in mind. So let's go ahead, get started on decor and see what we come up with for this space. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna bring in is this planter. I've had this for a, quite a while and I think I'm going to house a pumpkin in there. So let me get that. Okay, so I have this pumpkin. I believe I purchased it at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. I already have some paper in the planter plus a little bit of moss. So I'm just gonna continue to push that forward and had some fallout. So I'm gonna, that worked out pretty perfect actually. But I do want to add some greenery into it. So let me grab that as well. Okay, I have a few different pieces. This again is just off of a spray of greenery from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to tuck that right back in here just to give some height. It's kind of a wraparound feeling, I guess you could say. But I also wanted to add in some dried greenery from my last floral piece that I received. So I'm gonna try and tuck this in as well. this because it's adding quite a bit of texture to the whole entire piece plus you ha now have about four different color greens and I think that just makes the whole vignette pop but I am going to add a little bit to this side as well smaller pumpkin and I'm going to try and add that in on the other side. Okay. 
Okay, moving on to this side of the countertop, I found a happy surprise in the garage the other day, something I had forgotten that I picked up a while back. So I'm going to incorporate this tray here. I will probably end up with the Alexa on it. What I'm trying to do is disguise this outlet just as I disguise the outlet behind this vignette. I want to disguise this one as well. I am going to be bringing in books to the kitchen just because I have a book theme going on in my decor. So I'm going to use those as a riser. Okay, here are the books that I decided to use. I have three that are, you know, pretty identical. And then this one looked quite a bit like them. So I'm bringing this in as well, just to add some height. But I need to hide the turquoise because if you've been around for very long, you know that Dina just doesn't do well with color. So I'm going to use these two as a riser for a canister again in hopes to disguise this outlet. And then these I'll just prop up next to the canister once I get that in place. Okay, here is the canister I'm going to use. I always get questions on these. I have four of them. I purchased these years and years ago at Ross. I think I might still have the price tag on the bottom of this. I don't know if you can, no, I can't read it. It wasn't very much. It was like $10.99 or $9.99 for the largest one. But what I want to do for the fall season is just kind of fill it with some fall filler. But I also want to incorporate some of my fairy lights. Now, the last time I decorated with them, I actually just put a flickering flameless candle inside of them and they were so pretty lit up. So I'm hoping to do the same with the light. So the first thing I'm going to drop in are just some faux acorns. So that I can hide these behind the canister. And if I turn them on, that's what will look like inside the canister. There we go. Okay, the next thing I have is one of my artichokes. So I'm just gonna place that back in the back. Again, I'm just trying to fill up the space and I figured why not add an artichoke in there. I do have some of these little velvet pumpkins, I think from Hobby Lobby. I think all the pumpkins that I'm using in the kitchen, no, not all of them, I'm sorry. All the smaller pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna try and prop this up to be seen as well. And we've got a couple smaller ones. It's hard to decorate from behind. And then I'm gonna go to move it and it's all gonna fall anyways. Okay, so just like that, and then I'm going to make sure that my lights are in there, put the lid on, and we'll go put it on the tray. Okay, so we're gonna set the canister right on top of the books, hide the cord down there, and I think that is just gonna work out really cute. I'm gonna try and hide that outlet. Now I know you can see it there, so I'll move the camera to kind of show you what I'm talking about. As you walk into the kitchen, you're not going to be able to see that outlet. Okay, 
I'm gonna try and see if this will fit. I love this piece. I love the little scoop that comes with them. So precious. So I'm gonna, yeah, I think that'll fit right there, barely. So it was just made for that. I'm gonna grab a couple small pumpkins for that as well, and then we'll move on. So I got these two. But what I'm gonna do is to make them look a little nestled in and it make a hole and wrap that moss around the larger one that we're gonna put in there and then figure out where I want the smaller one. I think just like that. Yeah, I think that's cute. right there. Okay, I am not sure why, but I always want to decorate this small little piece right here. If you go back on any video, I'm pretty sure you're going to see that at least within the last year, something is always here. So what I'm going to start with is this little painting of a pumpkin. I did this a few years back. I purchased a square sign at the Dollar Tree and then just added a pumpkin onto it. I do have one of my little sticky dots on the bottom in hopes to keep it propped up, but I'm gonna just kind of stick it to the counter. And then I am going to put something right in front of it as well. Okay, so what I threw together was just another small pot with moss and a couple more pumpkins and just a couple little loose sprigs of greenery and that is it. This I purchased at Michael's quite a few years ago, but it's so simple you could do that with any type of vessel by painting it black and then just putting on just a little whitewash or something. But I think that's going to make a cute little vignette right there in the corner. So overall, I love the way it came together. It's all very cohesive. I am going to add one more thing just to kind of break up the space in the black planter. I have a little potted plant from Hobby Lobby that I think is going to work perfect there. Okay, what I decided to do is just go right over here across the way and finish up this side of the kitchen. Now, as you can see, I have a few things to disguise here. I have an outlet, the phone jack, another outlet with my wax warmer plus our alarm system. So I'm going to try and hide all of that. Now I keep our napkins there because they're always there and it's just kind of a habit to go there for them. So they're already in place. Now let me get started on the decor. Okay, the first thing I want to bring in is this cake stand. You may remember it. It's been on the small hutch for quite a while now. I took the glass dome off and I'm just going to use it as a tall riser in hopes to hide all of that. Next, what I want to do is bring in another layer. I don't really use this countertop very much for anything, maybe to set something down right here, but that is about it. So I don't need to really think about leaving a lot of space open in this area. Okay, for the next piece, I already put these together being, you watched me put the first one together. And these I did two in one because I'm going to put the smaller canister up here and the larger one down here in hopes again to disguise a couple things. Okay, so far so good. I really love the look of this. I am going to go ahead and incorporate some of that dried greenery around the canisters just to make it more cohesive with the other side. Also gonna bring in a couple books. I think I'll put them there.
Okay, I tried to kind of switch things around here to make them look a little bit better to my eye. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit more right here on this side with a stack of books. Just a tad, give me some more room. A teapot. Another sprig of greenery. And a pumpkin. The last thing I'm going to add in is my canister that I painted maybe during the springtime, and I added a tassel to it. I think I'm going to add that right back here just to disguise the alarm a little bit more. Let's see. You like that? Like that. Now I do have something that I think I might hot glue to the front of this canister. The other day I found these in our hutch as I was looking for some things for outside. They're actually for our screen door just so that you would see it and not try to walk through it. They kind of magnetize to each other. So what I thought I could do is just place it right here on front that is obviously our last name initial. So I'm going to bend it just a little bit so that it kind of wraps around the canister and I'm gonna hot glue it on there. Just a little added touch. This is the next countertop we are going to work on. We have a couple new things on the counter that I really need to address. The magic bullet, whatever this thing is called, that Ronnie purchased recently, the cord and the plug and everything else. Plus, we have a new coffee grinder up here as well and then our scale. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in a tray to help disguise all of that and just bring a prettier feature to this side of the kitchen. So let me start with that and we'll move on to decor. Okay, this is the tray I'm going to incorporate here. I get a lot of questions about this as well. This is from Hobby Lobby years and years ago and I look for it all the time, but I haven't seen it return. If it ever does, I will definitely let you know. But I figured the lip of it is going to help disguise some of the cords and things like that once I get all that on here. Okay, now this is where things get a little bit touchy because this isn't necessarily my station and I want it to work well for Ronnie. I don't want things to be hard because I've decorated around it. So I need to make sure that it's easy to get to. If he wants, he can just pull the tray out itself or just lift this off quite easily. But it is going to help disguise some of the issue as far as the cords. And then the scale is pretty slim, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to continue to tuck that back here because it keeps it stable and standing up. We don't necessarily need it out on the countertop at all times. So I'm going to bring a little bit of decor to the tray, not much, just to add a little bit of fall to the space. Okay, so what I'm bringing in is one of those velvet pumpkins with a little bit of moss attached to it and then just incorporating a couple more little tiny pieces.
joys of working with moss. <laughs> I do have a couple of these. I purchased them at Ross a few years ago for $5.99. These are some of my favorite. I just love them. So what I'm going to do is it fits right up here perfectly. I know that from years past. And then I'm just going to wrap a small piece of greenery around the stem just to add a little bit to it and call it good. I decided I want to add in this topiary ball. It is actually just a ball that I hot glued to a candlestick and then I tied a small piece of ribbon around it that I used over on our dining room table to kind of bring those two spaces together. I think I'm gonna prop this up there on the tray as well. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna bring into this area is my smallest canister. I think it's my smallest canister. I just decorated it up like the others, put the little fairy lights in it, and we're gonna call this area done. Okay, moving on to this area right here by the sink. You know, I always want to put something here because we do keep our drinks here throughout the day. So I'm trying to disguise something else here. What I'm going to start off with is this tray. I'm going to place it right here on a diagonal and I'm going to bring in a couple of books for a riser. What I need to make sure is that my rooster fits in here with the books. Something like that, maybe. That might work. Okay, the next thing I'm bringing in is this small lamp that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. Many of you have seen it before. It does not have a cord, it didn't work. They were going to throw it away, so I was lucky enough to bring it home. So what I did is I just simply taped a puck light in it that I have a remote control for. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prop this right back here up on the books behind the rooster. Okay, the next thing I have ready is an apothecary jar that I simply filled with moss, some of those dried leaves, the acorns, and a few of those small pumpkins. What I did is I put a stem of the dried greenery in and tried to place everything in on top of it here and there so you could see it all the way up. I'm going to try and set this right back here on the tray. And then what I did is I just put together a pumpkin with my moss, used a couple of those leaves and an acorn, and I'm going to prop that right about here, I think. Okay, we have one last area to decorate and that is that small wire shelf that I keep here right by the sink. So let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm going to do here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to put onto the top shelf is a couple of books and a sprig of greenery. I do want to incorporate my small little pin. Now, I purchased this at Hobby Lobby, I think a couple springs ago. She was completely white. I just took some paint and a little bit of moss to her, and she has held up so well. I can wipe her off. Some of it does come off, but for the most part, 
She's looking pretty good. Tuck her in right here if I can. And then I do have some of that dried greenery. See if I can tuck that in as well. A couple small pumpkins. and a little bit of moss as well. Then I found these cute little dulled acorns. I don't remember where I purchased them, but it's I've had them for a little while, so I just kind of coiled the end and I'm gonna place them in around the hen and the pumpkin. And there we go. So that top is done. There's a quick look at that. Now I need to move on to the bottom part of the shelf, which is really gonna be very simple. I'm going to incorporate my other green pumpkin and my gold figs. I did pick up a few hand soaps from Bath and Body Works, so I'm gonna set one out behind here with my dish soap. Put that right back there, and that is done. I forgot I had one more K, so I think I'm gonna put it right here. If I can get it to stay. There we go. Okay, the last thing I want to work on is just a small place to place my fall candle. I love just having kind of its own vignette. So I'm just going to put something together really quickly that's a very small that I can have right here on the counter. It can easily be pushed out of the way if needs be, but it's also its own little statement. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use is just a very small silver tray. You can see it's not quite bigger than my hand. It's just enough. So I'm gonna place that down. I also purchased a couple fall candles at Bath and Body Works. This one is white pumpkin and it smells so good. I've already used it and I've used my other one. I think my other one is leaves. That is my favorite fall scent. But I'm gonna place that right here on the tray. And then also when I burn it, I can just lay it flat right on top of the lid and the lid has its own little place as well. I'm also going to incorporate this gold pumpkin. It is so old and it's actually got a piece missing, but that can be hidden up against the pumpkin, or up against the candle. I'm gonna add in one more little green pumpkin and another acorn. And there we go, just a small little vignette for my candle.
today as I began to edit this video, I realized I mentioned the word disguise quite a few times. And that made me begin to think of the mask of disguise that we tend to put on throughout our lives. Now being real is very hard and can be quite uncomfortable at times. We become completely vulnerable, exposed to ridicule and judgment. And who wants that? But over the years, I have found that people really tend to appreciate our genuineness, someone they can count on to be real and trustworthy, someone they can talk to and know what they're going to say is not going to go anywhere else. So today, I encourage you to just be you because that is who we all want to know and see. Okay, friends, we made it through. The kitchen turned out beautifully, in my opinion. I was able to talk without too much pain, so I'm happy about that. And I just love the space. I love the color green, as you know, and I think it just pops in here. I love the fall vibe. It's not too much. It's just enough, and I love the idea that I have been able to take bits and pieces of the same decor and incorporate it into each and every vignette, making this kitchen very cohesive. Now, I don't think I purchased anything new for this space, which is another plus. Very, very budget-friendly to be able to use what you already have. You can see that I literally took tiny pieces of this and that, used greenery that I dried on my own and just made a beautiful space. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I want to thank each and every one of you for making it to the end with me. For now, I am going to go ahead and bring this one to a close. I want to wish you all a wonderful rest of your week. Remember to stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.